Good afternoon po. Afternoon everyone. Welcome to our af this afternoon's webinar. It's on constructing a TOS and validating test questions and a lot more. Um, so this is going to be just a ano no, parang collegial discussion and some clarification on on TOS and uh, LCRP. Um, but most importantly, parang ano siya, parang um, it's really a, a clarification dun sa recently na nangyari sa ano no, sa ISO kung na so we realized na medyo na ay mga kailangan i-clarify. And then, of course, LCRP because we're preparing that uh, for for our students for this June and July. So welcome once again. Kamusta um, mo? Sana po uh, we always uh, keep one another in our prayers for we always safe, no? So this afternoon, um, may I request everyone to please register mo na po sa attendance po natin. Of course, um, because we are of. Uh, giving our reports to our heads and our deans. So I welcome everyone, deans, vice chancellors who are here, but I think the vice chancellors have a, a management committee. No? I just exited uh, from there. Um, campus directors, academic heads, department chairs, LCRP um, focal persons. Um, this is especially um, created for, for, for that discussion. No? So this afternoon, let's begin, because it's already two. Um, as a respect to um, everyone's time. Our session today, of course, the, the preliminary, which you already had. Allow me po to give an overview of the LCRP. Um, I, I'd like to ask understanding and indulgence na parang pinersend ko na to sa mga focal persons and department chairs and deans as well and campus directors. So allow me po to run it down again because uh, it's also nice when we also um, inform our um, faculty and the newly um, assigned um, LCRP focal persons. No, para um, We all have the same idea of what this program is all about. And then we'll talk really more of um, the TOS, pero po, we cannot um, discuss about the TOS without really considering the principles of assessments and then, of course, the Bloom's taxonomy kasi mo nang pinakabadi yun sa table of specifications and what are some of our ways to validate our assessments, not our test questions. So, And then let's uh, have a, an open forum and some uh, evaluation and documentation. Po. So I, I, I would really appreciate if you would actively um, join me this afternoon. Um, you can turn on your video. You can also agree agree on chat. Um, I, the chat uh, box is always open. So if you have questions, po, I will not wait na to, to, to the end of this afternoon. Pag may, pag may question po kayo, uh, lagay niyo lang dyan so that I can respond to, to it. Ha? So, nada problema tong bit.do ng registration. Medyo karon ang bit.do kay medyo nag-arte na siya no, gapa gapa exciting sign na siya, di siya para sa ulo. Um, yes po, Ma'am Nova, more na ay something sa link. O oh, oh, please, uh, thank you po for the understanding. We'll we'll uh, send it again po. More na ay something sa link po karon kay more ang bit.do ga problema. Salamat po sa feedback. Sige po. I'll just proceed po. Okay lang po ba? Thank you po, Ma'am Antibat and Jerwin for the, for the, ano, Ma'am Raniada, hello. Ma'am Lea, um, Alinda, yo. Yes po, we're sending it again, ha? Ah, naka-register na di ay uh, Sir Lloyd. Si Ma'am Nova, good afternoon po. So, um, what exactly is the, there, naka-register this is Sir Denver, siguro ga under na ang link, no? So may I ask my staff, our staff in CITL once again to send the link. Thank you, Paul. Sir Sam already registered. Thank you, Paul, sir. Um, so these are nasa right ang ating ano no. But but exactly what is the program all about? Um, we presented this to the students ha, etong uh, learning continuity um, review program. So we presented to them exactly what is the motivation. Ano ba talaga yung LCRP? Pano ba magtake? Kanus aman, where, and what if they fail or they will not take the exam. And then, of course, um, we were assisted by our student organizations who were kind enough to um, join and, and to assist um, 
uh, ano no, CITL and uh, department in informing the studentry. So the LCRP po, um, we had an orientation with student leaders first and our OSA um, heads, directors, and coordinators last April 7. And then in April 8, we had a reorientation meeting with the vice chancellors, the campus directors, deans, department chairs, ACAD heads, and OSA directors uh, during that time. No, the tapos po, pagka April 12, and medyo na fix fix na po ang mga iilang mga, uh, ano, no, mga details. We made an uh, orientation with all students across the system. Of course, this was online. So ito po yung mga pictures ng when I did um, a meeting with all the student leaders last April 7. Ito po across the, the system. No, um, All our campuses were active when, when they joined here. No? And then we, we all were also joined by our OSA um, director as well as um, uh, OSA coordinators. And then when I when we did an reorientation meeting with the vice chancellors, uh, with the vice chancellor of VCAA and uh, and the dean, we did that uh, on April 8. We asked some of our colleagues to share. Um, people from the EE department shared their um, experiences. And then we would like to thank also the CSE because uh, we got insights, their challenges. Um, their ano ba talaga yung mga naging problema nila sa ano and of course um, we learned something from them no so we thank Dr. Rondina for sharing and the CSTE faculty kasi po um, we had um, LCR we started a kick off sana last year February for LCRP but of course due to the pandemic uh, medyo na hold siya but you know there were some um, uh, departments so talagang hindi pa dayo nila Ang, ang, ang LCRP. So this was our ori reorientation meeting. So that's why it's called a reorientation. So I, I'm explaining this kasi nga, um, uh, with the idea na we have a new faculty here who may have heard about uh, LCRP kasi po, para sa tanan man na to yung LCRP. No? So these are our meeting with, uh, with, with our colleagues. And then this is a picture of um, the live stream um, when we made an orientation with the students, and if you notice, those are, uh, as of this moment, 19,000 views. And then we cross-posted kasi um, from CITL to almost all the student organizations. So um, medyo nadako ang iyahang reach, no? Sige po. So these are some of the things that we explain to the students, the student leaders, as well as to our colleagues. Um, exactly what is our goal for LCRP? Um, it is aligned to our strategic um, goal na sana we increase our ratings in the board exam. But of course, hindi naman lahat board program. Um, so we wish na that be able to get certification or they would also pass um, eligibility exams. Kasi po yung mga, let's say for example, RME, yung mga registered, uh, um, na ay mga master electrician. So that's uh, parang equivalent ng kanilang PRC and some certification. No? And of course, computer engineering, they have a, there's a plan already on, I don't know, on coming up with a PRC. So, kinanbis at mga estudyante nga, this is really for them. So, we shared to them that basically we wanted, no, ibalik tong uh, glory sa una na um, we wanted to perform well and top the board and other examinations. And dili pwede na murad ang ambition is sick gamay lang. 100% of students who take the board exam will pass and those who will take the certification and eligibility will pass and those um sana po they will always be in the list of the top natures and we can only do this if we have strategic moves no we will also make um bold steps no and and this lcrp is one of, of those strategic uh, steps that we are um, thinking about this is also aligned to the to ensuring that they receive quality education there has to be some indicators of are we really giving quality and uh, education to them there has to be some metrics no asa man gitong dapat na i data na na maabot sa ato ang uh, tinuod man na asila na learn and so we have this uh, i don't know so there has to be data and information no for 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 this um are they learning the concepts are that we also need data if there's a need to 
uh, enhance our facilities and all that. And there has to also be data about students who need intervention, uh, instructors who need assistance, or courses mismo na needing intervention talaga. No? And of course, we share to them that this is aligned to our US division. And of course, our quality policies at ISO, we said na um, we always would want excellent and continually improve quality human resources and services. We always want to improve. It cannot be status quo. So that's why the pangita at paagi nga. Okay, Murat, kung maura ni ang perminti na 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 board exam uh, rating, mas basin na apay mas mo masaka. And so we had, uh, we we have this, the Learning Continuity Review Program. No? So what exactly is the LCRP? Comprehensive exam po sa mga estudyante every end of the school year. And this will enable us to keep track no, of students. Na, ano, and then, of course, this was approved but, and, and part of the strategic plan and approved by BOR. So that's why we're implementing this because it's already um, approved by the BOR. So last year pa po, na na po ang LCRP, wala lang dito siya na ang kaarangkada kay nag-pandemic man, but here we found a way na apo, hindi man di ay nga uh, online sila mag-take. No? So that was the initial. Um, una na, na, na sabot-sabot ani is the board, board programs lang. And ito po, that's why medyo mga board programs lang na mga department chair na. But of course, when we looked at it, when we submitted it to the to the board, um, dapat walay gitanaw na board or non-board na more na special treatment um, aligned to also uh, um, trying to assess the program outcomes of the um, every program. No? So ito po yung picture natin last year. No? And then um, medyo ang mga sudyante, wala na kayo na when we I told them that we are implementing the LCRP because um, we, uh, together with the BCAE, uh, medyo nag, nag, nag massive info tatong wala pang pandemic no, with CSTE, and then Moni siya mga pick na atong gi explain, and then we had an open forum with them and all that, no? and we also heard their their concerns. No? And then we also had this with SEIA during their general assembly, and of course, you know what happened by March na medyo na undang, no? Mga ani. And, and of course, this is not new to the engineering kasi nag-LCRP like naman git sila before ni siya na naabot git sa board na we wanted to institutionalize this. no uh, It started in 2017 and they had good feedback in terms of the preparation. And so here also last year, nag-LCRP like din ang CSTE. So those are the things we, we discussed. No? But basically, um, giklaro na to sa mga estudyante na all students, first year to fourth year, appeal graduating will take the LCRP exam. First year to fourth year. Ang uban, of course, wala fourth year, no? Kaya third year ataman. And then, of course, across all campuses, ang mag-take sa LCRP exam. Ato, ato siyang giklaro sa mga students. And we're, we're, we're saying this para maklaro po sa tanang faculty, no? Nga part po ang inyong subject sa LCRP exam no um so the lcrp includes all courses covered that's why it's it's cumulative so let me explain it uh further lcrp now first year duha ka semester yung coverage pag abot po sa lcrp um second year opat ka semester yung coverage so uh ano siya no parang cumulative gid siya Na mga, ano. So let's say second year students, siya, the LCRP exam includes all courses in first years and second years. Okay? So example po, ito po ang sa ano no, coverage sa first year lang um, sa, ano, sa electrical engineering. So ano wala man din na ang ano, NSTP? Kasi po ang, ang basis sa ato ang LCRP is ano no? Ang basis sa itong LCRP is um, the, T the TOS of the board program. So in this part, unsa ang naa sa board exam na naapod sa, ano, na naa sa, sa first year sa, ano, sa in electrical engineering. So money yung na-cover. So kung first year sila, money lang coverage sa ilahang LCRP. Okay? Kung second year, nidaghan na. Kung third year, 
kung fourth year. So mga lugar na siya ang cumulative. So we explain that to also to our students. No? So it's very important that as faculty, we also know if ang ato ang subject is board program and what is it in terms of the program outcomes in terms of mapping. So one of the basis is the uh, PRC board uh, exams in terms of the broad programs. Pero kung non-board po ang, in, ang program, we also explain to the students na um, the basis for for creating the LCRP is the certification. Uh, example po yung sa RME or the Philippine Standards for IT. And of course, the program or the course outcomes in every program. Kasi po, di ba, nakamap man tong program outcomes sa kada programa. So kung unsa ang natake sa mga estudyante, align to your department's uh, program outcome, yun po ang coverage ng LCRP for that year level. The, the USEP will be used for LCRP. No? It will be a platform. So the students will be tagged with their program, and we already discussed this with DTO. No? Say for example, BS Chem 1, dito na din nakabutang iyang ngalan. And then, of course, BS CE 2, um, dito na. Then, ang pangutana sa may estudyante kay, what if irregular student siya? Kung unsa tong nakatag dito sa ilahang SIS na iyahag yung year level o iyahang status, dito po siyang isulod sa ato ang, um, I don't know, you step. So the LCRP exam will have 100 items maximum. Um, it's multiple choice. The items are shuffled. That's why kung 100 items and they're given only 1.5 hours minimum. Uh, so kung ilang yung screenshot, ilang, ilang ikuan, medyo mahurot ilang oras kung magulat pa siya kung kanos ang magawa sa ang iyahang item nga number one. Basin ikaw 100 din sa iyang abay. No? And it will also be uh, sequential, meaning that um, one item at a time ang mugawas. Para delete na siya ka ng murang ibalik pa kayo. Uy, kung sa di idea, murang number three na siya sa ako, Adani. No? Um, they will be asked to submit the response one item at a time. And we will provide 10 item practice test. The 10 item practice test will be unlitrized. No? So the scores will be revealed after the response in the last item is submitted. No? There will be three attempts. Kasi nga, we're considering what if maglag ang use step? What if lag ako ang internet? What if along the way wala ko'y wala ko'y um, kuryente or something like that? I'm sure siguro sa ikatulo nga attempt na mag-try um, na nagit siguro'y makuha no? highest score will be considered. What if uh, first niya nga attempt is okay na? Then, chakto na, basta kay three attempts ang allowed. Um, pwede. So, pwede ra siya kaisa kung feeling niya okay na iyahang score. Pero namang giuban, ha, I wanna try, uh, basta hindi ay mas dako pa ako ang score on the second. So, whatever it is, kung mas dako imong first, then that's the one that is considered by the department. Okay? So, kana no, mga what happens if I get, and uh, motato ang response, that's why there are three attempts and that's also discussed with the student leaders and estudyante and all that. What happens daw kung bagsak sila? Um, giklaro na, to, na there will be no bearing on the grade, no? But merely to establish that sense of responsibility of taking the self-assessment. So, dili man sila, ingo na dili sila ipa-enroll or, or bagsakon sila, kay bagsak sila sa LCRP na comprehensive exam. Um, but this will tell the students mismo, no? na, uy, mura lagi ka ng duha na ka LCRP first year, second year, bagsak ko, na pa ba ko'y pag-asa aning nga program? Sila na din mag-self-assess. Or maybe ako naging mismo ang mga itaog, uh, mga pamaagi and all that na ma-improve ang ako ang ano, skill. At least bitaw delete dito sa katapusan na sila makabalo na mura, wala sila pag-asa mo pasar sa mga eligibility exams. The students will not be penalized nor barred from enrollment. However, ito po yung ano no, they would be subjected for intervention should the department uh, choose to no. They'd be advised to participate in some bridging programs no and then um, they'd be instructed to retake the exam. Pwede naman din ang department no ang magingon og uh, i-try daw ko no og retake maski naka naka ikatulo na ka kay murag kani nga mga parts wala o masadin no na tay mga anak no. 
or they will be requested to review some materials. Pwede ding mag-set up ang de mga department na, uy, murag ka ng, ang ilang third year, kanyang mga third year ba, wala lagi kabaloog ka ni mga strength o materyo mo, orang din gagawa sa exam. Maraging ana. So it will give us data on what to do talaga po. Um, so the benefit of the student is that they will be given special attention, no? especially katong mga sa intervention. And of course, we wanted to have a change mindset of the student na ang ilahang pagpasar sa board exam and others and focus sa learning is their responsibility as well. But they have to also know the feedback and LCRP will tell them the status of their learning. No? Um, so the schedule is on um, after finals and before the uh, the next semester's enrollment. So we are um, requesting our, I don't know, we are requesting our focal persons to load the exam um, questions uh, between now until June. No, my Anna. But um, the graduating will take June. The first year to third years will take um, July 1 to 31. That's first year to third year, Karun, not incoming first years. Okay. So, but if graduating sila, they will still take the LCRP exam so that we will know paano ba nangyari sa kanilang learning. No? The schedule, um, yeah, yun, the schedule, no? So, th this will be part of the clearance. That's why mara dili sila kapaingon sa um, enrollment if dili sila mo take sa exam, whatever is the result. Okay? So, yun po. So, those are um, some of the things we, we did with our in terms of LCRP, and we're setting this up um, this uh, afternoon because we wanted to also prepare for the LCRP, but major also na preparation is on our finals next week in terms of preparing our uh, examination. No? So these are some of the feedback from our student leaders and of course from our students mismo during the time when we explain to them the LCRP. No? Um, so nakuha man nila ang ato ang ana this is really for them this is not to add burden or to that will penalize we just needed to determine whether they are learning and asa dapat ang medyo kulang na na concepts no kaysa sa last ra nato mabal-an nga kulang dai wala di ay sila wa dai nila nato na yung first year to siya nga ano so we do not want to just assume parang ing ana so LCRP is uh, is a form of assessment of so the learning continuity review for program is a form of assessing our education that we're providing for our students. But it is of and for students learning of because it will tell us you know, whether um, the concepts are learned with the students, but for the students, it will also tell them um, if uh, they needed more, they needed uh, more intervention, they what it will tell them what they're supposed to do. It will tell our student organizations kung kailangan ba sila mag-bridging uh, ano, no, program and all that. So we're preparing for the LCRP, but we're also preparing for the final exam. So two prong ang ato ang uh, linya diri, no? So what is assessment? Uh, so kani, balik-balik na ginamon ni siya gingon, but allow us still, kay Morag, nice man na always na ma-review, no? Um, so when we are talking about assessment, we're talking about any process, any method na to, that helps us, uh, I don't know, that helps us um, infer, meaning we infer, give us an idea about are your students learning, are they understanding, um, are they developing the ability, but it has to be based on data. It should not be based on assumption. Na kahit kesyo kabalo, kesyo in attentive at mga estudyante, uh, we then assume that they are learning. They have to be able to, to demonstrate that. We should have a data on that. We need to have evidence of learning. No? Um, that's why we say assessment is an evidence of learning. And what is the best um, evidence? They take the LCRP and then we'll see if they are still, they still have on their on their I don't know um, learning or they still have that information or concept even if they are second year and uh, I know is first year and of course uh, uh, assessment is also some sort of uh, instruction materials to measure student learning so um, when we create our final exams um, there are certain principles that that 
dapat ato ang i-consider no as as faculty of the university and these are some of those no first match assessment with learning outcomes always naman nato giingon no um our final exam whatever it is final exam written google form quiz on on our use step or presentation or proposal defense or final defense ba na siya um, those are assessment if you, if it tells you that your students are learning the concepts so assessment in everything that we do in instruction sa outcomes based we have to look at the desired results first no and then we move backwards as i had na to know noon kung unsa gyud ang instruction ani because at the end of the semester we said at the end of the semester my students can diagram at the end of the semester, my students can can propose a recommendation. At the end of the semester, my students can create a prototype, can create a product. So, kana dapat ang end ay then magplano pa backwards. That's a beauty of OBE. But of course, in other university, they do not mention the word OBE, especially abroad. No, but same regard yapo ng concept. So again, um, OBE is 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 I don't know uh, heavily promoted by Ched because here in this framework students are at the center of the teaching learning menu menu so if this is the kuno ang ato ang process dapat good dapat good gani before ta nagsugod sa tong semester ang exam human na actually og kabalo na taon sa ato ang uh, i-assess sa mga bata murag at the start of the semester um kwan bata ka nang magpa magpaano bata magpa create bata og video sa tumay estudyante at the end of the semester magpa presentation bata um magpa create bata product dapat kabalo na ta ano kabalo na sila even at the start of the semester if if we are true to the OBE no mga ingana and, and uh, i like that uh, na ipangutana din diretso maka makada makadayas pipil Raccoon. Um, every semester po ba ang LCRP daily po po, ma'am? Every end of the semester or every end of the school year po. So every end of the second semester. Na po. Thank you po. So again ha, if you have questions, um, kasi collegial na to ang discussion daily, clarification on things, ano, no? Um, so just stop, put there, type there. Um, if you don't want na mura, everyone will read, you can uh, uh, ask privately, okay? Sige po. Again, a principle is dapat po nag-match ang assessment saka learning outcome. So, unsa po nakabutang dito sa outcome sa ato ang mga syllabus. Kung nag-ingon po dito at nag-ingon po dito, the students will have the ability to create prototype. The student will have the ability to create diagram or to propose something, make recommendation on something, design something. Dapat po ang assessment anak siya. No? Not just explain or define or kung sa bakaha, no? So, when we say outcomes, ano po ba ibig sabihin are expected, what ex learners expected to be able to do at the desired level of competence. So, that's how we define it. So, again, uh, another principle when we are thinking about the final exam now and sana po at the start of every semester, in the assessment or in your final exam and whatever is that that you're asking your students to to present or to demonstrate to you so you would know that they learn should measure deep understanding deep understanding performance and content dili lang po measure knowledge of something or can define something no so when we want to i know dapat po um, the students can analyze the student can criticize the student can uh, illustrate or solve mga ana, no? and we focus on the higher order thinking skills. We focus on the higher order thinking skills. Okay? So, yun po ang ano, kay, ang uban kay may ingon man o what if naka-study? Naka so, kung ang atong kung, kung kanis siya na, na exam, mahadlok ta na, na madili ang mga estudyante o take kay Basin makastudy sila niya. So then maybe knowledge like you. Okay, if, if they did not have the skill, they did not have it. Whether they take the exam now, they take the exam next week. Kung wala, wala. Good. Next is in the assessment, we use multiple measures. no? Multiple in, uh, um, 
measures, dili lang written, dili lang po demo. And that's the reason why even in our driver's license, we take the written, we also drive para klaro yun. So there's no such thing as which one is a better assessment. They are important na um, na atay cognitive, na apod tay katong uh, psychomotor. No? So something that, that we would see para na atay different angles of our students if our students are learning. And of course, we use appropriate methods and techniques and we consider assessments that are practical. No? So um, sana po ang mga, ang mga assessments um, that, that we ask our students, it's manageable, meaningful, and sustainable, both for us and for them. No, kanong mga assessments na dili rabitaw kaayo, murag mo patay sa ato chinek, na mo wa ako yung live atong mga sadyante, murag yung ana. So we, it, it takes some expert, and, and, and we really assume na when, when we are all hired in the university that we are experts in our own field, that we know kung unsa yun ang um, better assessment for us faculty to know that our students indeed learn and uh, students really develop the skill. So let us be practical, no, mga Ana. So also that is inclusive and equitable. What if ang atong assessment kay kailangan yung ing ani nga software Tapos wala ang mga, wala yung ano ang mga bata. But they have the skill. It's just that the requirement is this software. So I think um, we have to also be practical. No, kana mga, the task and procedure, procedures do not disadvantage any group. Mga ala, no? So um, again, when we want our students to think critically and then make judgments, dapat daw po ang atong mga assessment is mga essay, report, journal, mga present a case, prepare a committee briefing paper, mga anak daw po ang ato ang mga po ano, or mga comment on an article's theoretical perspective and all that. No, If we want our students to solve problems, dapat na ay problem scenario. Na ay scenario po. Dili lang integrate this. It has to be in a scenario. No, or group work, work based work based problem, no, or prepare a committee of inquiry, draft a something, or analyze a case. Pinakasakit sa ulo, no, analyze a case. Okay, tanang mga methods, procedures, mo man imong ibutang dito sa case, no, imo imo ang iano. So those are the things that uh, we consider, and of course. Our exam has to be valid, whether it's multiple choice or LCRP or presentation or paper. Bana, it has to be valid, meaning that meaning that are we really measuring what it's supposed to measure? Ito ba talaga yung align sa course outcome or that? No. So we're now proceeding to constructing the table of specs. Those principles. So, kasi pa po ang principle will tell us. Ano ganing ako ning gibuhat mo man ang mga punto sa prinsipyo no ano ganing gayng ani no kaning dili ko gadawat og late paper is it aligned to the principle ano ganing mga anak po so that's why it's important that we consider those principles that ano ganing higher order thinking skills mga ganing so this is our um TOS no table of specification in other uh, universities with S ang table of specifications, no? Pero pwede ka pong table of specification. So, um, if you notice, when we prepare the table of specification, may mga knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis. Ito po yung mga nasa Bloom's taxonomy. So, before we go to the constructing the TOS po, pwede po bang mag mo side bits at agamay sa the Bloom's taxonomy? Kaya ang concerns sa uh, ato ang mga department chair is um, na ay giingon niya analysis daw pero if i look at it parang hindi man siya analysis so baka sa, there's there's some ano uh, no need of clarification along the way muna so let's have this muna na pa our item is knowledge or when do we say that our outcome is knowledge when do we say na kanigid siya nga item is pang synthesis level or our course outcome is a synthesis level mga yung ano. Kay, kung mayingunta na ang atong exam kay higher order thinking skill, balikan na to itong course syllabus. 
higher order thinking skill ba itong mga objectives that do, mga learning outcomes, mga course outcomes? Kasi po, it has to begin from our course syllabus. So basically, Bloom's Taxonomy is our guide. This is how parang well-accepted and most popular taxonomy for creating and for determining uh, ano, no, levels of thinking required in a test question. Of course, there are so many taxonomies, pero uh, medyo mas popular si Bloom, mas well-accepted, mas uh, well-used um, uh, by, by several universities. So these are the... Bloom's Tax, we call this the original Bloom's Taxonomy. We don't call this the old taxonomy. No? Original taxonomy and of course there's the revised taxonomy by um, the student of Bloom. So I'm remembering, uh, I'm knowledge, can you remembering? My, but we're using this because if we are going to use Katong revised, it has to be true to the revised. Na ang knowledge, na himong remembering, napag na siya yung mga sub subcategories and if we're not doing that then we do this guy must uh well ano pa man yapon niya must well uh used and accepted and ano na popular um so when do we say na knowledge um um uh, imuhang question or your outcome or your objective if you are asking your students to just observe to just recall information mga knowledge of whatever lang uh, it involves only remembering. Narin tayo mga keyword that will tell you na medyo remembering yung mga pangutana sa imong exam. Sama sa if you're asking, which of the following is the ana? Tapos murag list lang di ay. Which of the following is not part of the list? Murag ala, no? Mga identify, mga memorize, mga if you're asking your students to name, if you're asking your students to order, to relate, mga ana-ana, mga knowledge level, no? So all that is required is bringing to mind the appropriate information. So, sama sa name project monitoring techniques or list their elements. So, kung pananglitan, may mo name multiple choice, which the following is not a method to modify design plans. So, if the, if the, if the objective or if the, I know, if the, um, the skill that you want your students is to tell you what you told them, then knowledge level. Okay? So, ang pangutan na is, Sa'yo ba knowledge level lang? Hindi man siya sa'yo, pero ang iyo ba kung knowledge level lang ako ang mga exam? Critical thinking, mga graduate attribute na to ang develop with our students, no? Mga anak. So, yeah. So, eto po yung some of the examples of the knowledge level. Pwede po ba natong tanawon? Kung yung ani ang, ang kung ano, either this is a course outcome or this is a learning objective or this is a question in your exam in whatever way it is stated this is just knowledge level sir douglas yeah enrolled of the students of the whole year yes po sa duha ka duha ka ano duha ka um ano duha ka semester so if you're asking your students to recall genetics or identify and consider ethical implication or describe how and why laws, list the criteria, however it is stated, list and then that's knowledge level in your exam. Okay? When you're asking your students to define, describe, recall, or can discuss, give examples of possible disruptions, na po mga social kaayo pagka construct no sama sa the major the major on saman something something of the great depression something something tapos mura bongga kayo ang pagka pero actually gi discuss ko nimo na asya sa libro ang mga major reasons so it only means knowledge so balik ta sa the skill what exactly is this, the thinking skill required by the students? If the thinking skill required is just them showing you that they can recall, that they can remember facts, then that's just knowledge level. Okay? So, say, 
if you if your learning objective is to recite definition of feasibility or name and list or in your exam it's which of the following is a definition of feasibility or which of the following is uh, um, I don't know uh, which of the following is not part of the steps in feasibility then it is just recalling so that's knowledge lang so next is comprehension the next level medyo angat gamay but this time the skill is understanding information so grasp meaning of the material it involves ability to grasp meaning so medyo na knowledge of the basic information but maka grasp sa meaning so example of the keywords summarize describe interpret predict mga ano no? mga differentiate if they can explain, they have grasped meaning of the material. So, sama lugar ani describe differences between forms of document. No, this is from Abet outcomes. This is just in the comprehension level. Ano man, they know the forms, but they can describe the differences. So, they have ability to grasp. Are they applying something? Are they applying a law, a method, a procedure? Wala. So, this is just comprehension level. So if they can describe iterative, so if they can describe, they have grasped the meaning of the material, no? Okay. If they can also, um, I don't know, all problems associated with current methods. So if you, if you can, which of the following here um, are are related to this particular method? So they understood, but that is beyond knowledge, but not yet application level. So this is an example of a multiple choice in the knowledge level. Let's look at this. Huh? In the area of physical science, which of the following definitions describes the term? So nganong knowledge manisha level? So it's answer this letter E. Okay? Because it is just a simple recall of the correct definition of the polarization. So yun lang ang required na nga thinking sa mga estudyante. So we put that in the knowledge level. Kung ang required thinking is can they remember facts? Can they remember definition? Can they recall? Can they bring to mind? Yun lang. So pag comprehension, it's an example of a multiple choice. Which one of the following describes what takes place in the so-called preparation stage of the creative process as applied to the solution of a particular problem. So, parang di naman siya pinadefine. Pero, do they really understand what is, what will take place in a preparation? So, that's the reason why this is comprehension. Kasi po, um, na asya idea sa five stages, that's the knowledge level. Pero if the student is to show you if they understood the preparation stage, that is comprehension. That's the reason why comprehension is medyo angat gamay sa knowledge. Diba? So that was knowledge, comprehension. Now let's talk about kanus aman application ang isa ka item in the exam. It involves the ability to use learned material in new and concrete situations. So again, the key word here is learned material in new and concrete uh, situations. No? So again, sa knowledge, Recall ang ability. Sa comprehension, they have grasp of the material. Pero ang application, they have the ability to use the learned material in bago nga situation. Sama sa, nagamit sila o information in a new situation. Nagamit sila o method in a new situation. So, unsa tinyo yung pang-discuss in yung klase um, na ay bagong theory, na ay bagong um, procedure, na ay bagong... Uh, a method, na ibagong law, tapos na ibagong din ang sitwasyon, ganito na ako ito siya. Okay, bago nga theory, bago nga rule, tapos bago ang ang sitwasyon. Okay, kung unsay mong giyatag sa classroom, maorga po niyong giyatag sa exam, tapos murag ano lang ang dating, so uh, remembering yung giyatag po ng dating. Diba? Ayun na. So, these are some of the keywords lang, no? Keywords, something that will prompt us on medyo may pagka-application. If we ask our students to calculate, to complete, to apply, to examine, to modify. No, sama sa use facts to solve engineering problems. So, 
meaning bago ang problem pero ang procedure, law, process, um, method, theory, rule, akong gamiton sa bago nga ipakita sa akong sitwasyon. So, and then they can use theoretical concepts. So, that is application. So, mga ingani lugar na mga um, so course outcomes pod ni siya or dung dalo na to sa exam, if they can apply engineering science principles as relevant area of concentration, then that is application. So, what are examples of application na mga, ano no, mga outcome or mga something in the exam? When you ask your students to construct a timeline, ba? So, mo ba construct a timeline? Tapos, application, di ba ni siya murag, ano lang, murag knowledge level? O naman ay, pag sinabi pong significant events, no? And then, anak sila yung itawag o ilahang timeline kay na ay certain process and rules and ano. Um, apply knowledge of infection control, select and employ um, sophisticated techniques, or if they show proficiency in the use of vocabulary as well as the sounds in different styles. So, pwedeng application level. No? Um, so, if you notice, more course outcomes ang uban, because of course, ang atong assessment has to have uh, to take off from the learning objectives and the course outcomes to the exam. No? So, if they apply principles of evidence-based medicine, if they show how changes they modify guidelines. Modify guidelines in a case study. They are applying some process rules procedures. So again, po an ano po ba yung knowledge? Um, remembering, no, just recall. Um, comprehension is um, grasping meaning. Application is when our students are able to use rules, methods, process, theory, concepts in new situation. That's why mo may pagka-application kung na ay problem at hand and they're just going to use the method, the process, the concepts in this problem solving, no? Um, so what is analysis? So ability to break down material. They see patterns, they recognize hidden meaning. So usually ito yung um, what's the relationship of this and that? And then they recognize I don't know, the principles involved in that. I know. And so you notice na may paka higher order thinking skill ni siya. And we hope na yun po ang ano, yun po ang ano no, yun po ang inyong i consider. Okay, and we're live on, on Facebook. So if, if there are some of your colleagues who cannot join us in Zoom, they can watch us through our Facebook live po, no? Kay Murag, uh, nag-max na tag 300. Okay? So, anal analysis. Um, Pag-analysis po, ito po yung mga ano, no? They infer, they appraise, they categorize, they criticize. Ito po ang pinaka nice sa, sa kanyo, mga critical analysis of mga um, given ani, tapos Murag ipa ipa ano ang mga estudyante no kanang ipa look into and what is wrong with this design maana kasi kung what is wrong in that design ila man da yung isulti sa imo this something is wrong here because the because there's a certain principle that is not used so na appeal na tong knowledge comprehension application then they break down the material into into several parts no and that's why it's called analysis, breaking down the material into parts. Usually po, critiquing. Usually po, tell me what is wrong and what is the, what are the principles of design that is not used here. Mga unsay problema ani, mga asa man siya dapit and all that. Okay? Nag-echo daw akong tingog sa FB, sir. Okay, mab nag echo ang audio nga. Ano ka ang echo akong audio? Compare and contrast the different electronic business models. Okay. So, analysis, no? If you notice, compare and contrast the different business models. Nga, no, kaha. Nga, analysis man ni. Kasi, di ba po, kung, kung kanina business model o kanina business model, asa man sila pariho. 
pareho sila dari, pareho sila function. Pero dili sila pareho in terms of um, doing things. So, so gi-break down sa mga estudyante ang materials, no? Mga anak. Yes, I will answer that, Sir Fifth, no? Um, not it a fifth, a fourth, man. Sir Fifth, are you really fifth or are you fourth? Yeah. Yeah, po. I will answer that, Sir, ha? Um, so, ang pangutan sir, is kami have analysis most of the items. Pwede naman po. The better. The better po. Um, but, uh, kung, kung maingon ka, sir, nga, pwede ba 100% ako analysis? Pwede po. Pwede po. But later sa, ano, ato, ang ikan kayo na yung mga certain, ano, no, ato, mga agreements sa university. De debate the economic, mga, ano, no, identify and quantify. Basta po, ang ato as analysis is, uh, break down the material into component parts. Critically analyze. So sa mga eduk dyan, compare the classroom practice of a newly qualified with that of a teacher. So if it's, they're breaking, kanya, um, the new and the old. Ana. So of course, pag, pag break down, ana, in terms of method, process, mga ing ana, no? Analysis is good for the MS and PhD. Bito, Ma'am Alma, no? Sana, sana yun, mga yung ana. So, we, we, the more na, ano, pero sana, pag, even sa college po. No? So, this is an example of an application level. We should following memory systems. Mga ano, no? Mga piano man siya, pero anyway. Point here is um, the question test for application of previously acquired knowledge. They apply. This is an example of an analysis. Okay, nga no kahang analysis ni siya because the question requires prior knowledge and understanding about the concept and the student is tested on his or her ability to analyze whether a word fits with the accepted definition of pragmatism. Yung bang, yung tanawon, yun sa, sa kajit lang, pragmatism, on sa ganitong, ay, ako ang pragmatism, then on sa ganit, din akong pagsabot sa pragmatism, that's analysis. No? Uh, si, si fourth gudi ay, okay. Sige po. So, on sa ganit, din itong knowledge, atong estudyante is makarecall lang. No, maura tong gi sa ila. Kabalo ba sila? Kadumdum ba sila? Comprehension is makagrasp bidyo sa meaning sa matir. Application is kung na ay mga rules, methods, concepts, procedures, um, ano, ano, mga procedures, laws, tapos na ibago na problem, application. Pero unsa sa ganyang analysis, if they can break down parts. No, usually, ga-compare, then katan, oh, okay, in terms of function, in ani in terms of ing ani ing ani so or or sometimes na i design tapos may ngon ang may estudyante um ang imong gi ask is na i design nganong na may problema diri asa dapat ug unsay ug unsay wala na wala na apply ug unsay problema so critically analyze the ano so it could be like that so pwede bang analysis of course po tangan kung pwede no um so synthesis uh, involves the ability to put parts together to form a new whole. Ano po ang pinaka keyword ng analysis? Use old ideas to create new ones. Old ideas to create new ones. Basically po na ay ma form na something sa ilahang knowledge. That's why in the new taxonomy, synthesis or creating is of the highest level. Bakit po? Um, of course, karo nagingon na. Kung naakay mabuo, naakay mabuo na proposal, naakay mabuo na paper, naakay mabuo na uh, ano no kanang website with all your things may ana kung panalitan lang maugid lang sa imong course, kung naay ma-forma na product, highest level of thinking gidaw ko na siya. Ingon ang ato ang mga uh, specialist, no? Um, so usually uh, you're asking your students to create, to develop, to plan, to propose, to invent, to design. Highest level. Creating, no? So, if you're asking your students to develop new strategies, no? if you're asking your students to reconstruct the current practices, if you're asking your students to list criteria, not to look into the problem and then the solution, 
synthesis gidaw ko na siya. Yung mga recommendations ng mga ingana. So that is synthesis. So if you can ask your students to create something as a final exam output, then you that is highest level of ano no, highest level of um, exam. Um, so sa evaluation um, in the old taxonomy original taxonomy evaluation ng highest no it involves the ability to judge the value material so judgment if you're asking your students to assess to recommend to explain to i don't know to convince of course that's evaluation no so mataas na level pa rin. that's a reason why in our tos ano siya no uh, evaluation slash um synthesis so these are some of the examples of evaluation. If you, if in the course syllabus you're asking your students to choose the best solution, no, or identify best solution, or assess and judge assumptions, or determine if if accurate ba, and then criticize, magano, no, or predict, or summarize the main contributions, no. Kani, I'll, we will be careful with this, ah. Pag summarize the main contribution, something something like that. Parang bongga siya, no? Pero kung nag-discuss na mo, nag-live session ka, yung nung summarize ang main contribution, tapos pag final exam na, yung nung summarize ang main contribution, kahit mura bongga siya paminawod, tatubig niya po na siya mabilong sa um, knowledge because you're just asking your students to recall. No? The, the skill required is to just to recall. So, sometimes we have to be careful na although in ani ang keyword, dili day na siya automatic na Mabutang uh, dalay sa highest level. What is the thinking required for the students for them to respond to this? No. So some example of evaluation level: judge the sentence. Ano no? mga because this this part here they already know Middle East uh, politics, but that student here is tested to evaluate between the cause and effect in the sentence in terms of predefined criteria. And that's why it is called evaluation level. So we're sending this also to you, no? Para, ano ha, kung ba sila distract. So this is the original version. The other, on the right, is the revised version. So, yun na yun, no? So, the Blooms Taxonomy, kabalun na takong asa dapit, ipang ko. And then we'll talk about the table of specification on sound good pag construct no so the table of specification is the blueprint so mura kung mag construct tag balay kailangan na blueprint no unless unless po ang gi construct nato is just sama na tong gi construct box lang para sa gift di kailangan ng blueprint um balay lang sa manok na mura gisar ka manok tapos mura pa triangle lang Hindi kailangan ng blueprint. So the analogy is kung quiz ra siya, kung ka long test ra siya, kabalo man ta kung lang coverage siya, may raman siya, you don't need a blueprint. So you need a TOS pag term exam, sama sa midterm, sama sa finals. So we need to have that kay murag kung sa balay pa siya or sa building pa siya, di ba po kailangan magid og blueprint. Um Para, dili na ito makalit nagka-realize na mas dako pa rin ang CR kaysa ito ang kusina. Mas, tapos biglang, wala day bintana na lang tana to, kay wala may blueprint. Diba? So, it's the same analogy as as in the test. If you try to construct an exam na wala'y TOS po, diba? O say, malinta ni mo nga, na ito itong coverage ng discuss niya ni, pero wala sa exam. no And, and of course, you ni Agi tatanan ang pagka-estudyante, biglang Grabe mag itong emphasis ni ma'am. Maunin mga comments mo no, sa literature na yung mga sudyante na nag-comment na grabe kaayo daily rin ito. Kunto siya ESTP. Pero um, in the literature that I read, ang comments may sudyante eh, um, grabe kang emphasis sa amo ang professor kasi wala dito sa exam. So something is wrong, no? Um, naa siya sa course syllabus, wala siya sa exam. Dako ka siya nga na time gi, gi ano gi develop ang skill pero wala siya gi assess mga anak so it's very important we have the TOS so why again we because the TOS will help us clarify learning outcomes it will ensure that our 
our uh, no no our content coverage really included everything kasi di ba po na ni Agi naman tagpaka estudyante na kalit lang na ni na igidugang si teacher dito na ay naapa di ay ha mag ani and of course we are looking into our our assessment final exam exam writ when i say exam written or presentation those are assessments no do they match the methods of instruction if you are asking your students to ano na in the syllabus ingon the to you would appreciate um the principles of rizal man ana bakit po nagdrama sila sa final exam may ana no ako 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 na siyang hugot no kutong bata pa ko ano gyud na ang ang assessment sa mga maestra kay dili tsada amo ang mga make up pangit among sofa dili pa, pangit kay ang mga paypay nga gigamit sa pagdrama tapos if you look at the course syllabus ingon man dadto na the young will um appreciate results ano no mga idealism and all pero pag abot sa assessment it's more of ang emphasis kay pila lang ang uyab ni Rizal, or nga nung si Joseph and Brocken yung maana, good, mga tapos nagpahimog video, tapos ang gi-comment is pangit ang lighting sa video. So wala nag-match ang nasa syllabus, ang nasa program outcomes, o ang assessment. Diba? So kung kung emphasis sa, sa methods of instruction, yun ang maalaman. So if we really wanted our students to design, if we wanted our students to to ano, no, to prototype, if we want our students to recommend, if we want anak, then the assessment should be like that, which is found in our course outcomes aligned to our program outcomes. No? And of course, it will help us in the evaluation of the program. So that's why ginapangita siya sa mga ISO because, of course, TOS is something that will show to our stakeholders that indeed, wala ka nagpataka dari sa ito ang mga pag-assess sa message. Wala ito, gihagilap ang mga assessment sa langit. No? Um, so kung magmuan ni lugar magreklareklamo ang uban no tapos ano ah, natay pakita nga indeed the department chair ensure that the exams are well prepared that they are aligned to what we wanted to develop in our students and that's the reason why ginapangita po siya sa mga accredited for because it is a proof that indeed wala na to gi pamatakaan na nato ang mga assessment so um, so are our judgments um, of students learning valid? Ito yung mga pangutana, no? Are our judgment? Kasi di ba, when we are assessing, we're, we're assessing them, oh, kani pasar, kani okay, kani dili, kani dili, excellent. Are, the, are our judgments valid? The TOS can support the faculty's professional judgment. Indeed, di plano ang, ang unsa ang way of assessing our students, no? Mga anak. So was there a match between what was taught and what is tested? This TOS provides that link between teaching and learning. And TOS makes teacher-made tests valid. No? So it's one of the validity um, processes. So how do you know whether it's valid? Well, the test is well-planned. No? And then kung unsa ang uh, number of hours taught, then mauto siyang emphasis on the exam, mga inaanak. So... Anus aman mag prepare of TOS. So TOS is developed before the test is written. No, kung maglaro lang sa historia. This must be constructed even before the start. Mo nang usahay ang mas okay gyud is kabalo na ta kung unsa ang exam, unsa ang end of product sa may estudyante before mag end ang ang semester so that our instruction is designed to that so that we help our students develop the skill so that at the end of the semester they can really do this they can really demonstrate this no so again ang ato ang ano is pandemic man pwede na usay yun nun ang exam wala tay nga na nga linya no um um nag adjust ta in terms of leniency of students submitting our exam we wanted to show understanding na um possibly nga dili na kang software ang ma-involve but in terms of standards, in terms of the expected outcome that they are going to show us, we did not adjust that. That's why um, Atong always emphasis is, do we want our students or do we, are we kind to the students? Then we design the instruction 
uh, an excellent instruction for them. We do not adjust the exam and manipulate the exam so that it looks like the book slug score and it looks like that maayo ang maistra or kunsa. No, parang design the test because that is what is expected of them. Dapat ma-develop nila ilang skill and then pa-backward and then taon. Para siguro kung ingana ang style nga at the start kabalo na taon sa ang ihatag sa mga estudyante o sa ilang assessment na skills or ilang i-demonstrate na skill, siguro mas daghan ang, especially ito sa face-to-face -face pa to, no? siguro ang mga ang mga class is dili nag-checka, dili nag- uh, ano bitong ga-log ang mga kuan, kanang ga, ang say tawag anak, ga ga in, uh, in, install stalling ang nangyayari no na may ingana ng mga comment okay so who approves the TOS the department or the unit head or the chairperson no so naa siya sa ang TOS of course when the department sana po then tagbanga na to sila dili kay mabugat ang ilahang trabaho na um na kanang murag ano no and sana po open po tatanan na of course the department chair will sign there it's approved no na um, okay ang of quality of the department sa uh, quality ang ang exam so sana din po open ka ng medyo mag comment sa unit head sa department head sa program head po ha so naa sa to ang ano ang ato ang so di, so eto yung itsura ng TOS no nga naay topic na ana so isa isa ko na to ha let's construct now the TOS so ano po una Dapat po yung course outcomes nasa kilid. Um, so course outcomes, three to five course outcomes po as, uh, I don't know, um, as, uh, suggested by a lot of literature na course outcomes. Hindi kailangan ten. Hindi ko pwede one lang. Maura gilugan ang course outcomes. So what the students will have demons, uh, will have the ability uh, at the end of the semester. So ito yung course outcomes right here. Nga naman, we always re remind ourselves na mga ugid ni siya ang dapat na non-negotiable na mga skills sa mga, ano, no, sa mga estudyante. So, we write it there so that matanaw na ito ang ah, maubag yun. Sad ang naadiri atong gi-measure din sa atong assessment. Kasi po, kung naadiri ni ang the students will have to design, then the exam is about designing. Okay? So, first step po, um, determine the topics to be included in the test. So, if example, no, kani ako maming class, no, six uh, uh, edu 61, so maging ani akong class, maging uh, education man sa awin akong uh, load. So, then we write our content there sa list sa topics. So, you can also Google nga some of the universities, ang ilahang daring apart are the outcomes. Pero of course, pwede rin akong topic. Mag pwede man sa mag-decide. So, duham na siya, no? Either we write the topics, of course, we we already assume that you know the outcomes there. And then, of course, some some of the universities also of our, our competency. So, question. Siyempre, si grupo or si department chair, magtanaw siya, ha, mauning topics? Maun lang ni ang topics sa imuhang buong finals or sa midterm? Ano, alam ba mga question, no? Of course, may man sila pagpakuntahan. Mangutana lang sila. Pwede rin sa natutubagun. Pero of course, ang pangutana is, um, build, mauba ni siyang nasa ato ang program na dapat mauba ni siya ang sulod sa buong ano. Because they have to also ensure nga that, that our students are not shortchanged. No? And then we determine the number of hours allotted for each topic. Ba? So, ano lugar no? Tapos, ang pangutana din ha ni ano, ni 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 ma'am or ni sir department chair is really the number of hours in a term. Okay? Gani? 24. Nga no gani? 54 hours man, 3 units. Pero kani siya for 3 units, ha? Uh, for 3 units, 54 hours. Diba? We minus 3 pang midterm na week. We minus 3 pang, pang finals na week. So you have already 54 minus 6. You have 48. You divide the 24 for the midterm and another 24 for the finals. That's why I have 24 there. No? So number of hours. 
what if maingon ka nga, wala mo ko nag-class yun, naglakaw-lakaw, mangod ko nag-travel ko, or nasakit ko. Pero ang mga estudyante, mangod kahit nag-travel ka, nag-uan ka, diba, naaman na sila, gibuha, gibuha. So the number of hours there doesn't automatically mean na maulan mo yung contact hours. It's really the emphasis na kanina weeks, ana, kana siya. So si department chair po, mangota na siya nga, Kani ba na coverage dapat 3 units gid ni siya. Nga naman ni siya na dugay man ni siya nga nang 5 5 hours man ni. Ha? Maana no. It's also another input to sa sunod nga pag 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 ano sa term, ila na pud ayong diskasan. Ba? So a clarification ni Ma'am Nova, do we have to put all COs in the course in the TOS or only the COs covered in that period? All COs po siya ma'am. Um, kasi di ba there are only four or five para matanaw, pero dili man na siya buti pa sa buti, kanila ang na-cover the, the course outcomes of the the course outcomes of the course po what if kung na I love ma'am, how can we incorporate the number of hours in the in the TOS uh, kung, na, kung love sir naman na sila yung mga, kung sabi ilang ibutan sir, mga, di ba ang imong ibutan is also na ang po yung mga topic sir so, anak yapo siya, sir, number of hours, imo yapo i-determine kung pila ni siya ka number of hours for this particular topic. No? Can we avail of the copy of the presentation? Yes, sir, um, of course. We always do it, CITL, including the recorded uh, video. Okay po. Um, can we ask our, our staff to also put in the chat the copy of the TOS? Um, katong ginagamit na to sa ISO. Uh, so, we are sending it also in, ano, but the presentation I will talk. Okay, number of hours per topic, tanaw na yan, no? Tapos si department chair will also look into the alignment of, um, si department chair will look into the alignment of the topic with course outcomes, no? So si department chair will look into, huh, okay, may ano, no? Please allow your department chair to also comment, no? Kasi, at the end of the day, sila ang gaperma, sila po ang gapanubag sa inyong mga dean o sa mga, sa ito ang mga ISO, sila po ang ga, sila po ang ga, uh, ensure that, um, that our students are given quality education or, and that is shown also in the assessment. Okay po? Um, so again, we then compute the percentage. So, uh, Ma'am Alma says, ideally, the lab will have a separate exam with separate TOS. Kasi po, if it is a separate, it's a separate na course mang yun, Ma'am Alma, no? Diba, Murag? Ang lab is a separate course. It's a separate subject. That's why lahi ang iyahang TOS. Compute the percentage of the allotted time, no? So, kali po, ato apo siyang gi-compute no ang ang allotted time niya so kaning kanina topic unsa iyang number of hours so again um mangutana si mangutana si ko ano mangutana si department chair or ang grupo kay naman ay grupo di ba para yung tanan ga tudlo ani uh, so mo nang importante nga dili lang ay hagihi mo ang ano ang TOS o ang exam at the end mura gi-review lang siya katong about to take na ang mga bata so, kailangan magsabot na no, 3 hours ni ha. Kani 4 hours ni siya, kani an anak lugar. So, how do we compute for the for the percentage of the number ana? So, it's 3 divided by 24. So, again, kung ang nakamarka diri is below 24 niya, 3 unit, medyo questionable. Ha, number of hours to 10. 10 lang ang imuhang gi ano, gi x gi gi tulo or mga yung anak. So, 3 divided by 24 is 0 0.125, 0 0.125 times 100 is 12.5%. So, this one, is, so you will see the the chunk no, of this. So, if you notice, kanil lugar ang pinaka chunk. So, kaning, kanil lugar siya nga topic, it doesn't mean nga nag-lecture po. Appeal, ana, nga kanil siya nga topic, um, number of hours also nga nag-workshop nag ang mga studyante, nag-present mga studyante anak kadako na oras ang kana na topic no mga anak po okay but i'm showing you um a sample of uh, how to construct the os na medyo field out siya no um i'm i'm giving this when i'm i'm giving uh, workshops sa other universities na kanang dili siya powerpoint or like in one paper unsa gani unsa kung dili ni pag compute ng percentage dire of course, dili man tanan mathematically influence. Anong percentage damage? Challenging na sa uban. So, 
ato gid siyang tagaan o kanat siya percent number of hours allotted uh, for each and then compute the percentage in anak. So we're also giving that na as a chat ha, you can download it. Kanino, 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 at kung saan pag-compute ang percentage na dire, compute the percentage, number of hours divided by total number of hours times 100 mo ay ibot ang ganyan. Okay. Then we determine the percentage. Kanina dahil, no? Sunod. Unsa man dahil ang percentage sa Bloom's taxonomy. Rule bagyod na 20% ang knowledge. Dili po ha, ito ging klaro ko ni. Dili po rule na 20% knowledge. Na atay gitawag o we agreed as a university starting 2016 na naalang tayo ceiling. Ceiling meaning maoy pinakataas. Kung knowledge yan eh, pinakataas na ganyan 20. Comprehension ganit, pinakataas ang 20. Pwede ba 0? Of course. Basta di mula hos 20. Comprehension, pwede ba 10? Yes. Basta di mula hos 20. Basta kay ang lower order thinking skill is only 40%. What we are sending a message here is that the majority of your items and the skill required from your students to respond to our exam majority 60% minimum is really higher order thinking skill or application analysis synthesis or evaluation okay so um, whatever we have in our in our um in our um tos mo pud na siya ang moral atong gihatag bitaw na na the message we're sending kay kung imong knowledge is 50% are you really developing critical thinking or ang atong mga exam kay magugulo ra kay pwede man gud mag-answer may estudyante especially karon no mag-answer may estudyante knowledge level tapos ang pangutan na to which of the following is the definition of syempre wa na tapos akong other gadget tapos na led tong definition kabalo na dayon ko so murag na ila dra gyapon na wala magid sila na learn actually pero kaning mga higher order they really look into the question and it will really reveal kung naa ba gid sila na punan de ba so, so, pwedeng knowledge 20, pwedeng 0, pwedeng 5%, pwedeng 10%. Basta bawal mo, sabot ta po, nadili lang mo lakos of 20%. Okay po? So, ano siya na. So, the distribution speaks the level we expect from our students. So, say for example lang, um, 20 ko, 20 ko din ni, 50 ko din ni, 10 ko din ni. So, mga anong gislash man ninyo mo. So, pwede man gini siya unong git siya, no? Pero murag, hago na kayo na siya sa to ang mga faculty. Actually, in other universities, knowledge, skills, attitude, murag yung ana, ilang, ano, pero napoy uban nga, lower order, higher order. Uh, even Bloom would, there were, there are also literature na medyo lisod, gani kayo separate ang knowledge of analysis. Pero kung ato siya i-combine, it's uh, better this way, Okay. So, and then we decide the total number of items. So, naana ko yung number of um, hours taught. Total is 24. Naana ko yung percentage. And then I decided kung unsang ako ang distribution sa Bloom's taxonomy. Remember kung yun sa ninimo pag-distribute, it will tell everyone, ano no? Um, it will tell everyone, um, it will communicate exactly your you're trying to, I don't know, in terms of uh, critical thinking of our students, okay? Now, this time, mag-decide ka. Pila man ka a number of items to be included in the exam. Na by rules, la po, ikaw bid talaga mag-decide kung uns, pila ka number of items. So, pero there are things that we need to consider. Kanib yung mga true or false, 30 seconds na sila per question, no? Kung medyo ano ang true or false, higher order. Multiple choice, Mga 60 seconds, bilang mga yung ana. Naapoy mga multiple choice, na complex. Because we want to show in multiple choice higher order thinking skill. We present we present charts, we present pictures, we present problems in a multiple choice. Wala na po itong mga ideas sa una nga. Di ko ganag multiple choice. Hindi siya pang critical thinking. Depende po na siya pagka-construct. No? Daan na kayo na ang concept na dili ko mag-multiple choice kay dili maka-measure of critical thinking. It can. It can only requires that we know how to construct the multiple choice. Okay, kung dili pa siya higher order thinking skill, tapos gigamit siya sa PRC, 
in board exam, sana dagan pasar, manong dagan makaimbagsa. Because it really is um, ano no, ni adi validity, ni adi sa siya o uh, ano no, kanang um, construction that really only will tell us who has the skill. So, eto po yung mga kailangan nato i-consider, no? So, say for example, hingon ko, uh, 40 items ko for 2 hours and it's uh, all multiple choice. Mga ana. Yes po, Ma'am Alma, validity and reliability. Yeah, um, yes, Ma'am Maralia, pwede po ba na ay knowledge? Yes po, Ma'am, na ay knowledge sa, sa LCRP. Pero po, um, ang ato ang manggunggitan na diri, ang ato ang yapon, same yapon, Ma'am, no, dili yapon, murag, mas 50% ang knowledge level. Mga ayna. Hi, Ma'am Grace, ni mga ayna. No? So, say for example, ako, 40 items, ana, lugar ko, no? So, then, ang pangutana ka ron is, Sa 40 items, how many kaninga topic? How many kaninga topic? How many kaninga topic? So then, kung sa gani, the 12.5 is 0.125 times 40. Ha? So 0.125 times 40 is 5 items. Kung naman lang ganyan siya, 4.9, then we round it off na mahimo siyang, ano no, mahimo siyang equal to 40. So, nana dayon ko diri. 12.5 is 0.125 times 45. 0.167 times, seven, uh, times 47. Um, so, you notice, 7 man lagi ni Sunya. Kani kay Pariura din 6. Oh, pwede na din ato i-adjust because I just want 40. Okay, so, ingani na lugar ng distribution. So, kay mas dako na kung oras diri, mas dako dapat akong number of items sa exam. Kay mas grabe man ako emphasize di ha, no? Um, so, ni agi pagka estudyante in the past, no, na, grabe kang emphasis ni Ma'am Diri, kay mo man ang apit na sa exam. So, tanaw, ni department chair, nanong dako makikag-uras, Diri, ah, kay nag-stalling mo din sa permero, no? So, number of topics. So, ang pangutana din karon is how many um, in the Bloom's taxonomy per, I don't know, per, um, how many items per in the Bloom's taxonomy level? So knowledge, I, I already decided, mag 20% rako. So 0.20 times total number of items, 8 items lang ang knowledge of the 40. No? So 20% of 48, 50% of the 40, 20, 10% of the, of the ano is 4. So mo na lugar. And then we complete the table. Okay? So, ani ha? Diyot lang. So, ani naman siya? So, wala tayo katubitang murag auto-generated something-something. We don't recommend that. Na kanabitang murag dapat, di rin na agisulod, da rin na agisulod. We don't recommend that because hindi man gawin na muna ang Excel. ba? It's us, the expert, who can really determine. Kaning eight nga knowledge, asa man din ako kwaon. So, pwedeng Ang 8 nga knowledge diri, then 0 diri, diri ko diri mangutanag knowledge level. So, dili kailangan na ay sulod tanan box diha. Okay? Kaning 8 na comprehension, then of course we know what comprehension level. I wanna ask it from here and here. No? But of course, kailangan, dili mo ko pwede ka 8 diri, no? Kay 5 raman diri, dapat ako ang, ako ang item sa kanina topic. So, say for example, mag 2 diri, to the re and all that. So, say I have completed it here. The 8, I said, I'm gonna get it 4 here and 1 here. Kaya nga, no, kanina topic, foundation pa man siya sa mga knowledge, comprehension. Mga ana lang, no? Kani mga ana. But of course, kung ako ni siyang i-add 4 plus 1, 5, wala na dayon ko eh, something, something here. Okay? So, we complete like a sudoku. So, pero, Dili tanan kailangan na ah. Ikaw man ang mag-determine as an expert in your field. Na, ah, hmm. Ani bitaw nga question, nga kani nga question, gusto ko ko ani siya kanang uh, really show me you know what to do with this. So I don't want to ask knowledge level here. I don't want to ask comprehension level. I will ask all application analysis. So kurot na ako ang multiple choice man. But since it is 20 lang ako ang analysis, 12 na lang nabili na ako i-distribute. 
So, ikaw pa rin mag-desisyon. Okay? So, ito na ito iklaro nga, dilitanan kailangan, ano ha? So, there. Okay. So, when we prepare the term exam, work with colleagues, no? Assign test items, topic, and Bloom's taxonomy level. This is what I still remember when I was um working, uh, we're preparing for a test with the math department. I think si Ma'am Roda yata ako ang department chair ato, or kagrupo bang me, or something ato. <clears throat> mga twen ana ana no so among buhaton is naana mi among gibuhat is naana mi ani TOS human ang gibuhat is ampi ikaw in charge aning comprehension aning a uh, topic o kani dayon ha ikaw ani tagaan pagid mi anag mga papel sa una no ampi uh, comprehension isa ana ana pero even if in charge kong isa, ang ako i-present sa grupo, duha ka question. Criterion Amphi, ikaw in charge aning application, uh, duha out of the five. Tapos, but you are going to prepare four. We're going to choose as a team. Parang ing anan, I like it. I like it like that. We were anan. Tapos, murag, murag makulbaan ka, no? Kaya murag, ha? Pero di na ba yung pagpangutan na sa oma? So, sometimes, it's also nice, eh. Para yung standard, kahit yung laing maestra. Diba? Okay? So, so dili kailangan ikaw rin yung saan ni unless ikaw rin yung tudluan yun, no? Yung mga na sa higher level. Okay? Then have extra items and please write the answer key as you prepare the exam. And double check your TOS. Okay? And then try your own exam. And siri po ninyo inyo hang kaugalingong exam. Kayo, no? In a lot of the workshops I did with the faculty, uh, ano na, even in other universities, when we ask them to write their own, ano, ano, so, please, would manig ayo akong exam. Or ilang essay, ing ano, ilang gusto na answer, pag ilang giansira, ning, so, if I want this answer, this is not the question. So, let's prepare po, no, our own, ano. So, part of the, this is actually part of the process of validating your test exam. So, preparing your TOS is actually a validation um, part. It makes us uh, determine a valid and ato again way of assessing our students' learning. No, so after we have constructed our exam, write the specific. Ito po yung nakita namo sa ISO no na kanang ring ani ra ang itsura, wala na specify kung asa ni siya sa exam. Asa ning for ka knowledge level in the exam. Wala na to na so, sa object sa ato ang department chair, sa ato ang dean sa ato ang mga stakeholders kung really we had a good uh, assessment no so actually dapat na ay as item placement so dapat na nako for asa man ni makita ni siya sa test 2 number 2 number 5 number 6 ana kaning kaning application analysis nga duha ka buok nga kaning topic asa man ni siya sa imong exam is it number 8 in test 4 is it number 7 in test Three, please place the item placement po. No? Para ano kay, uh, para ka nang, kabalong yun, ito ang, ito ang mga head na, when we claim it's analysis, it indeed is analysis level. Na, no? So, should I still prepare a TOS if the exam is a demo? Yes po. No? That is an assessment as well. So, unsa man ang naa sa exam uh, saman na sa imong TOS, asta siya nga level, tapos kung saman siya dead to, no, pila man siya demo bag yun, all of this topic, demo rag yun ang mo, ano, or all of this topic, presentation rag yun, that is also, ano, so you prepare also. So kung isa na ka-item, that's of course, kay kuan man siya, final exam, so, pero kung nakay part 1, um, multiple choice part 2 demo, it's still in one, ano, no, Still a one question. And then, of course, tanawan da yun sa ato ang department chair kung on sa ato mga instruction dito sa imuhang final requirement presentation that is a final exam. And of course, we we also give um, rubrics to our uh, sub, to our um, department chair so they know na wala na ito nagipang hagilap sa langit na ato ang mga pagkagrado sa mga back times. Also, sa show of transparency na Indeed, wali pabor-pabor. Pag mag-grado mag mi, nag-grado mi objectively. We only grade according to the skill shown by our students, not anything else. no? And the, and, and, and the rubric will also, of course, make us uh, really focus on what the skill that we're looking for. So, mga anak. 
asking Dr. Ruel, Mamam P, what is suggested or uh, of the test? We will start from knowledge comprehension, then analysis, or random ang placement. Please advise. Sige po, sir, sa placement, no? Uh, and then, sir, of course, we know na sa psychology po, no, in, in some of the, re the readings, Anna, kailangan po yung mga first few, medyo sayon sayon. So, munang usually po, knowledge siya yun ang maguna, comprehension, kasi syempre, kailangan na magbinoa kayo o brain cells pag abot sa mga evaluation and mga synthesis level. So, da dapat po, we also consider psychology na Kapag dili daw kuno pwede na number one pa lang gani kay mura nag ah, nasakan ang kabuhi sa mga estudyante. So, kana ba ang mga consideration? Pero wala gigingo dapat number one knowledge. Wala po yung ala. But there are parang human consideration. Mga ala. Grass, Japan gamiton do pag uh, performance. It, it's a very good, ano po, sir? It is a very good, uh, uh, ano no, kanyang template when we are preparing our kanang say, tawag, uh, performance assessment. Uh, clarification, ma'am. For the first topic, ma'am, so sample TOS, so dili kailangan na knowledge should be 20% of five number of tests. Dili kailangan 20%, yes po, ma'am, no ba? Uh, meaning, ceiling lang yun ning 20%. Meaning, pag knowledge, ato ang sabot is dili mula kus of 20%. Mo man siya katong pag-create po nato sa TOS during 2016 no um na pag pag paghimo nato sa mga OBE pag anak but of course along the way medyo nalimtan na so that's why I need so mo po na ang sabot po man pwede ra randomly distributed ang number of items to different cognitive levels as long as total of 5 ang items as indicated yes po so say for example I, I hope I, I, I got your, ano, ma'am ma Nova. So, five ni. Uh, five number of items. Pwede ba siyang item is isa ka knowledge, isa ka application, tulo rin, dere. Pwede po. Oh, ano, yeah. Ano ang imuhang point, ma'am, no? Tignan lang po, ma'am, po. Dili mo akong patagets. Ah, okay, okay. Yay. Should, ah, yes. Thank you, ma'am, no. Should I still prepare? Oh, yes. Ako nang binaan sila. How about the TOS with LCRP? Okay, hangyo gininamot sa mga LCRP focal person po ha. Yung pagbalodyo ko na morag ka ng daghan kaya tag work. Let's do this for our students po. Align to the TOS of the PRC po ha. Example, chemistry. Mo mo ragid niyang TOS na ilahang ipakita that do. So kung napay mas detalyado ani mas okay sa na so. Um, na ay mga under pag it's analytical. So, if analytical chemistry and unsa ang nasulod ani is 25%, dapat po sa LCRP, ganun din ka kadako ang iyahang distribution sa kanina LCRP karo na year. Mga anak, no? So, can we use rubrics formats for our TOS if the assessment involves programming with multiple points per item, rubrics format for our TOS. Iba po yung rubric po, iba po yung sa TOS. But the rubrics has to be attached to your TOS if uh, when you submit to your to your I don't know to your um, uh, department chair. Uh, another is we used to indicate test placement for each criteria in the entire exam. However, at USTEP, the questions get shuffled naman. Uh, yes, no? Pag ingana, ma'am, ba? Pag abot naman dad to, mga ingana. Okay, karoon naman good kina. Gaka-shuffle na siya. Pero ani po siya, ma'am? Um, Pag-checking ni department chair, habalo siya. Eh, di ba? Pag-checking niya is naghatag man ka sa e-copy sa exam. Di ba? Ang use step yung magpakita sa iya. Yan pa mga i-double check before ni mo siya i-hatag, di ba? So, kabalo si department chair na Kabalo si department chair na indeed, ang imuang giingon ng analysis, hindi siya knowledge level. So wala tayo pakialam itong sa, sa USTEP. Kaya pang isudyante man itong kanimang sa pang, pang pag-check ni department chair. And ang pag-check sa, sa inyong grupo, sa inyong team. Tapos naingon mo, analysis ha, nga inga ing ani. Tapos kabalo tayo na na analysis. Hindi po. So same po ha, LCRP. Ito po yung sa chemistry, no? Um, ani so 
So, it's aligned to the TOS nga ano. So, meaning, so, napoy ka ni sa inorganic, uh, yan pagiging break down into several, ano, no? Okay. 40 items, is may have a total, 100 total items. Yes, ma'am, alam niya. So, ito po yung sa electrical engineering. So, meaning po, sa LCRP po, ang kaning mga topics po is katong mga courses, no? courses or their sub, um, sub uh, topics under that course nga na sa mga estudyante ani na year level um, that is aligned to the PRC. So ang, so ang inspiration is the PRC na TOS. But of course, the PRC is our minimum. We can go beyond. So, but of course, um, mura bitaw ka nang gatan o gita nga mao mang ito siyang minimum sana makuha to daan sa mga estudyante. And that's the reason why uh, kabalot akong kinsa ang mas ano no ko, kanang let's say for example sa modern job, uh, mao gid ning expect that to sa uh, BS Ed Mathematics. So mo to ang at least una na ko na emphasis og emphasis sa LCRP and then I'd go beyond a bit beyond that mga anak. No? And so sa LCRP then um, the the percentage in the number of hours is similar to the PRC na TOS. So kung in organic chemistry um, 25% dapat po sa kanina kanina year level ang ihapong ihapong chunk in that LCRP is really 25% of the entire exam like No so sa LCRP we focus on the hat Okay? Ngano po ba? Um, ngano ging i-focus na to sa HATS? Ani po ang literature ang giingon? Kung manggod ang estudyante maka um, maka demonstrate sa ilang skill in the application analysis, synthesis, and evaluation, then we can assume that they have the knowledge and the comprehension. Pero if they can perform the knowledge and the comprehension, we cannot assume that they can do the up, the up, the higher order thinking skill. That's why we request na medyo diri sa higher order thinking skill po ang focus. So, um, how do we do the, ano? Um, so, so, for board exam, for board program, ma'am, dili na necessary include ang Gen Ed. Ani siya, sir, naaba ang Gen Ed sa board program, sa inyohang board exam? Kung wala po, pwede po, dili na siya appeal sa LCRP. Ala po siya. Um, kaysa, I think, sa education na ano, so mo lang appeal ng ilang S. Kuan. So, uh, how do we validate for the test questions? Uh, check for clarity of test item. Kung kita po gasulat sa ito ang exam, usahay, it's very clear to us. It's not, uh, so we ask our colleagues of the same expertise, no? Kung masagdan ba ni, kung klaro ba ni, and if it's possible daw, uh, you use similar terms that is used in the instruction, na uh, familiar, mga anak. Anak siya, no? To check for the terms, the vocabulary. Kay Basin man good po. Murag sa yun sa imo, kay murag, ano naman ka, PhD uh, or, or masters. Dahil ang imo ha pong kasagara, load as a masters, at imo siyang gidala sa. So murag, basin o dili pa to siya levels ato ang mga undergrad, no? Um, also, um, Ingon nila, literature says, if, if when we actually are validating for our test questions, uh, involve five or more subject, uh, subject master expert, SMEs. And in the during the pilot testing for, for LCRP, no, our LCRP focal persons, um, we we can request our alumni to try to take the exam. So, pwede nga try try sa sila dad to, kasabtan ba, libog ba, kung saan gibati ni mo, um, uh, klaro ba, ang mga kuan, mga ano. Okay? And we also look into the options and choices, no? especially kanyang plausibility. What do we mean by plausibility? Kailangan po, pag tanaw sa mga estudyante sa, sa exam po, multiple choice, Katong mga wala kabalo, kailangan man, mura siya o ka ng, ha, mura ligig letter E. Mura B, ba? Pagkabasa niya sa letter C, kaniyata, letter D man siguro. Kay wala man siya skill. 
dapat po dili halata ang answer sa mga wala na ka-develop sa skill, no? So that means plausible ang ang ano. Katung mga naagib sila skill, then it's glaring to them the answer. Pero dili po pwede na halat whether nagtuon or wala nagtuon or wala na ka-develop sa skill. Pagbasa sa question, halata kayo nga letter A ang answer kay letter B, letter C, letter D kay wala dili related. So we do not manipulate the assessment just mural para mo dako ang ilahang ano so very good po dapat po sabi ni Dr. Ong dapat good ang distractors no ang um, mga distractors say for example a certain item number 1 is is the answer letter B is a misconception so that it will also tell us na ay kailangan pa din siya i-emphasize then we can still do something we can we can do an intervention or it can actually tell us na wala na wala na develop ang skill or we can also emphasize in in the next uh, semester no mauni siya ang so it has to have good distractors and that takes time diba dr ong medyo taas ko ana siya mo nang dapat magtinabang ako sa kuan so this is an example of ano no uh, question nga murag standard tapos ang isa is discriminating very important na maka discriminate it's only in the creating of test exams or test ano no um, questions na dapat ang item maka discriminate dili po pwede na murag tanan na lang maka answer dili man nato makita kung kung ano po, kung maayo ba pagka-create ang exam, if it cannot discriminate. So, katong po talagang mga uh, low scorers, there's such a term, dapat consistent po, tapos katong mga high, and then this item can really discriminate. It will discriminate, meaning only those who have learned, only those who have studied, only those who have developed the skill can really determine the right answer here. Pero kung wala siya nagtuon niya makabalo lagi apo siya kay halata kay others they're not good distractors then this item is not well constructed okay so we check for clarity again and then of course uh, kani po talaga karon na panahon kailangan mga questions kita gid naghimo no or items that can reveal the students skills something that cannot be googled even katong ato nga performance even katong ato ang mga programming something na dili magugol so that we really know that even if in any ato modality no because wala magit a choice nag uh, nag ano magita na um, um, flexible learning because we wanted everyone to be safe still on um, the standard and the skills dili dili dapat murag na ilad nga na google or mga nila ilad ng submit ato ah something that really reveals their skills so, but that requires and no ka nang i-construct na to well and really we can do this with our with our uh, ano no colleagues and of course um, later on we can do an item analysis no in the pilot we can also look into the item kanong nagtry ang atong mga ano no sa LCRP ipa-try nato to mga alumni makita din nato dito kung asa the pit na mga distractor no if the answer is letter A B, C, D are the distractors. Then we will see kung asa diri ang dili kay attractive or halata kaayo na wrong answer. And we're glad that you step can actually give us this analytics we, before we blast it with everyone. No, makita man dito nga wala nagiga pili sa B. Halata kayo, ma bright o ma dili. Kabalu sila nga dili answer ang letter B. So it's not a good distractor. Or not a good option because we're really not trying to distract, no. And then of course, uh, in a uh, good dif difficulty level, so difficulty is not the same as complexity, no. When we say difficult, meaning that uh, we're looking into na dapat answer ang ta mga bright, kay kung mas grabi na kay naglisod pati ang mga katong mga kabalug yun, uh, that's very difficult. We don't want. We wanted a mo moderate difficulty in ano lang um, ang mga maayo maka-answer ang madili maayo dapat maglisod siya and of course katong maka discriminate items that can really separate those who know from those who do not know and it's nice because um, the analytics in USEP can provide us this one 
So again, I'm down on my last uh, few slides. Uh, these are the graduate attributes that we want in our students. And sana even in our assessments and in everything that we do, um, maki makita ni siya. Maklaro ni siya that to, no? Think uh, we are developing critical and innovative uh, I don't know, thinking in our students. At the same time, we wanted to develop empathy and we want to develop students that are resilient. But of course, those with a 21st uh, century skill, and they can really um, collaborate no? and, uh, and communicate with uh, others. So, yun po ang pinaka-emphasis. And that's why critical thinking maka, innovative thinking, ang ato ang highest percentage is not a higher order thinking skills. So, yun po ang, ano, and I hope na nakahatabang po na ni Asa Atua, sana po, and nakaklaro po. We're down to the open forum. Pero ganahan kayo ko na ang uban, kayo gahatag man o mga questions, ma private or ano sa chat. But please sa uh, chat if there are more questions po. Na koan. Napaku batay mga pangosana, but I will I will ask if you can unmute yourself, no? Uh, I I and if you want, but you can chat if you wanted to. Naklaro po ba mga koan? Ang mga katong klaro lang ay nato klaro hon. Okay po ba? Yes, Carol. Thank you, ma'am. Clear po. Yay! Thank you po. Ah, thank you po, ma'am Christina, ma'am Sir Lloyd, Sir Mark, ma'am Nova, Sir Renante. If ever po, pwede po, did ka ayaw mag, ano ha, send us, you know our email, right? CITL at USDP.edu.ph Salamat po kayo sa inyong presensya. Um, we wanted to we wanted to clarify this kay na ato yung mga kuan sa ISO no uh, pwede ko magpa-critique sa imo sa may exam yes po i really okay sige po that's good dagan ka ayo misconceptions na nawala ganahan pud mi ma'am sa inyong pag-participate kay we will do this uh, as as colleagues no of the university there so magulat ko mga questions pwede mga ayo sa email address ma'am CITL at ed, at usdp.edu.ph po. Salamat sir long. Very clear ma. Okay. Salamat. Sa mambing at low po. Salamat nakapas ka. Um, we're sending also um sige po. Um, our staff can salamat sir Kenneth. Our staff can also send the katong sa ISO ng TOS. Can you also put it again? ISO at TOS. When I'm uploading, very nice question, Sir Chris. Maghatag rami og time, Sir Chris, because um, bago lang nag-complete ang uban uh, yes. partners sa LCRP. Ano, no? Tapos, thanks to the evaluation po, mga ano. Ma'am, ma pwede po pwede. Yes? Um, Mag-clarify lang ko balik sa yes. basis sa TOS. Yes. Puan, ma'am, kaning non-board programs. Hmm. Kaya kay, ang ilang basis ka tumang sa board exams. What about sa non-board programs? Ang, ang sa non-board po, Sir Elmer, is your program outcomes and the course outcomes. So, say, for example, second year, no? So, di ba naman to yung mga course outcomes sa kada subject? Moto inyo hang basis po. Okay, mura man sa siya o another input to the CQI, Sir Elmer. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Nanboard nan board to Sir Elmer, no, ang imo, ha? Yes, ma'am. Um, another question po, ma'am. Sa first year, bitaw kay uh, two semesters pa man ang ilang na over. Yes, sir. Kanang dagan ra baka ayo ang 100 or 100 jud ang among himo? Ma maximum ang 100, sir. Alagay, no? So, uh, pwede rami mag-concentrate sa among mga subjects na major for or mag-appeal sa misa English, appeal ba na mo physics, chemistry, and non-board ba na mo? Ang, ano siya, sir, ha? Kay kasagara, namang gutay non-board ng 
nga murag ang paignan po is eligibility bilaw sir civil service na po sila katong uh, let's say for example po sa atong sa master electrician na po katong pa-test pa daan all mo to sila ang murag basis po sir pag LCRP so sa inyo ha sir be applied man man ni sir Al Elmer yes sir Unsang kasagara ko answer ka nang kani sila mo lead into unsa na board that's another consideration so if the if sa inyo ha pong mapping sir kay naagya po nag involve siya og mga gen ed pero ang ato agi yung ano sa LCRP sir is katubitong katubitong ato ang program outcomes gyud katura man gyud sa ato ang na bilong na mga subject kato lang ang ato ang measure kay di ba sir kung naatay Ay kung naapod tayo data, sir, kung pananitan mo ng information, murag, ang atong department, kanira man sa good ang iyang atiman nun. So, motong ang inyong halang mga subject. Yeah, okay, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. At least naklaro yeah. na mo. Thank you. Dapat 100 points ang exam per subject. Per subject, sir? Dili, sir, ang buong, ang buong LCRP po ang 100 item. Na ba another question? Dili po siya per subject. Lugudagan kayo subject. <laughs> regarding sa essay, it, regard, if na essay sa exam, dapat Japan mag-attach o rubric. Appeal mag sa pag giyunsa ni mo pag-rate po. Pero when we say rubric, di kailangan katong analytics ha? Na ay rubric na checklist, rubric na um, point system. Let's say for example po ha, morning essay, tapos Ako din giingon dito, three points. If students can emphasize that there is really no ana, two points for if students can identify ana. So that's, those are essay. Those are also rubric because rubric is actually a scoring scheme. So not necessarily katubitong kwan gyud katong ano gyud katong analytic rubric. Sige, ginahan ko sa inyong question kay at least the, the discuss gita dari no. Sige po. Salamat po kaayos sa inyong presensya. Um, so we're also sending um, the the ano po ha. Uh, for those who have not registered, also those who are in Facebook, please also register. no. Can we have skills demonstration as our final exam sa PE, ma'am? Of course, sir. Okay, because, sir, we know you're the best person who can really, you're the expert, no? Who can really determine if kani bagyod ang way to know whether your student developed the skill. So, wala po yung magbuot sa imo. Pero po, kailangan maklaro sa imong department share kung kung sa'y plano nyo. Uh, kung mag-essay sa LCRP, dili makascore da yun ang bata sa so somebody has to take charge. Yes po, pero ang ato pong kita karon is medyo board exam like man, wala sa essay po. Multiple choice ang ang ano po sa karon sa LCRP. Ma'am Alma, multiple choice po para murag ano siya simulation sa board exam or any eligibility. It's really ano po multiple choice sa LCRP. And then maybe in the future we can consider something we'll see po as we go along. Okay po ba? Lagi kay somebody was asking ah okay po. But we will see Ma'am Alma no in the future. Sige. Thank you po. Sige, well, I'm waiting for the other uh, other um, questions as I go along. Um, we really appreciate our faculty and CITL is something, uh, has something for you, no? Um, so, may I show a 15-second video? Kailang po ba? Before we, before we, ano? While I wait for the others. May I ask uh, our colleagues in CITL to show a 15 second video? Sure, sound.
Thank you very much. We are excited of the 2021 USTP Teaching Excellence Awards for our faculty, of course. So the this is approved by the BOR already and also endorsed by our Academic Council and Admin Council and the Management Committee. So um, we have already informed the deans and, and our department chairs and, and academic uh, community uh, sa ano no, mga, mga detalye. But of course, uh, in the next few days, uh, we will also send more details pag yun, no? kung wala man lang na kung wala man lang na wala man lang na ano na, na dumduman so but bottom line po um, we are inspired by our faculties uh, ano no kanang resilience our faculties uh, strive for excellence and we wanted to recognize our mga kauban na uh, always have been excellent we promise that it's going to be um transparent we, we promise that it's going to also uh, go through a very rigorous process of selection. So, ayun po. Um, so, na ako mga other questions here. Please po click the evaluation. Um, sa demo, sa exam, sa PE, we have format man in the TOS good na number of items of number ana kung saan lugar <laughs> sa pagbahibay. Um, di ba po sa imuhang pag-measure, pag-determine sa performance na amang kay gipangita? na mga kuan na mga um, skill so moto siya po ang ang imong isulod dito sa analysis or evaluation ba kaya or application ba kaya di ba mag ident mag apply man sila og something or mag unsa ba kaya ilang i-demo di ba po so moto siya ang i-ano so, please click po the evaluation if if murag kailangan gyud og kanang um gusto niyo po maklaro please come to CATL uh, yun po ang ami ang trabaho dili po mi murag sana po dili mo maulaw o disturb sa amo because yun po ang aming work to assist our faculty um, can you give us a copy of your presentation we are sending po after this um, session and also the recorded uh, video as well and all the the registration again, the uh, evaluation again, as well as the katong um, template na gagamito na to sa ISO. Can't be reached po ang link? Sige po, sagdi na lang po, amuan na lang sang itan aw kung naunsa kay usahay kay ga, gayagaw na ang mga bit that do so far. Unlike before nga, murag okay rami, no? Murag ing ana. Uh, so some can open, some cannot, no? Uh, yes, doc email na lang. Okay, program info. Current program. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nain na sense ako. <laughs> Sige po. I think you're also communicating with your colleagues, no? But again po, pwede po ba maghangyo, everyone? Turn on the camera um, so that we can also request. We're also sending an email um the link to the evaluation po ha so that you can tell us what else are your needs so but salamat kaayo sa inyong presensya sir sam our president sa paspa ma'am alma no ma'am lenny our campus director um ma'am emilu ma'am corazon always our principal sir loyal vanessa our, our director greg our catl uh, coordinator ma'am annabelle salamat ma'am ma'am ansigbat Sir Raul, salamat po for your presence. So, we're taking pictures. Yes, okay. ATL staff. There are 12 panels. So, uh, 12 panels. Um, those who are in Facebook, please ensure that you can also register. Ha? Sir Clark. Sir Ar Ar Arts and Culture, na chadam mid kayo of pose. Ganahan. Hi, ma'am. Congratulations. <laughs> Salamat, sir, sa iyong presensya, sir. Sir Rico, as always. Welcome, ma'am. <laughs> ah, um, naada ko na question kanina on the number of items versus the number of points. It's always the number of items. Uh, if you can also, literature would say it's always the number of items. And then, naapoy mga other universities na, aside from number of items, na additional column or number of points. Para makita, yapon sa ga-evaluate nga, ha, anong, 
kanira manggani ang emphasis sa imong number of hours taught niya. Dako kayo imong points. So it's always the number of items. Thank you po, sir, for um, ano kay Basig na wala na ko nakita. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Sir Dexter, mga amigo. Sir Jonathan, salamat sa presence. Mga department chairs, no? Mang Vilma, Mang Phoebe, Galyon. Smile sa Mang Phoebe. Mm. Kajut lang po, ha? Kaya ba si ba pa niyabot sa inyo ang panel? Mang Grace Niliyama, hello, Sir Mark. Mang Anna May, Donna. Salamat, Sir Ruel, for your presence. Kahit mga busy kayo ta. Okay na po. Okay na po. Daghan ka yung salamat, our dearest faculty. Final exam next week. God bless us, everyone. And thank you for your presence. Thank you, everyone. Salamat kayo. Salamat to weekend. Thank you, Mamang Pee. 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 Wala pa. Wala pa, kapit na. Next week na. Salamat po, Mamang Chris, Mamang Nova, Mamang Yanita. Mamang Annabelle, salamat. Mamang Bismar. Mamang Yanita. Mamang Grace. God bless, guys. And please keep safe. Palihog. Mamang Kanensya, hello, Mamang.